Greetings! Today is just a little bit of an update that I wanted to give. In fact, I wasn't even planning on giving, I wasn't even planning on making this video at all, um, but I just kind of felt compelled to do so after I finished doing what I'm going to show you very, very shortly here. Um, so it's all to do with the mountain exhaust and specifically with fitment with adjustability and specifically with one of the tips. Now I have mentioned this in the review video that I did about the exhaust and uh, specifically the tip with the exhaust valve. And uh, Now that tip has the exhaust valve at an angle pointing upwards whereas the stock exhaust has it going sideways and indeed the Mountain USA exhaust also has it going sideways. That at the time seemed like a bit of a curious design choice to me uh, because because of course when it with it angled upwards it's very very close to part of the underside of the car so initially whenever I went for a drive um, in that review video which I did just after installing the exhaust everything was fine but a couple of days later I got what I would call the dreaded tapping noise so basically going over any kind of rough or bumpy ground speed bumps you would get like da -da 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 -da. now when I installed the exhaust as well I had a bit of a fitment thing whereby the tips were just not in good alignment um, so I had to do a bit of fiddling um, with the exhaust sections and just just pulling and hauling just to get that to line up which I eventually did of course but that seems to have potentially made the tapping thing worse so the lack of adjustability seems to exacerbate that issue there just doesn't seem to be a good solution as far as manipulating the exhaust to make it fit right so I asked Munch and I reached out and they just kind of brushed it off and said if it's installed correctly then you won't have any problems. So they were kind of implying that I had done it wrong um, which kind of well it felt a little bit rude um, but also it's the nature of this exhaust system is and most other exhaust systems is it's pretty much a click together system you know it can only really go in one way you know the hangers go into the isolators and you know that's kind of pretty much it and especially in the mountain exhaust system where there is no real adjustability with regards to the teal pipes uh, there really isn't that many ways to really go wrong so it kind of um, seemed a bit odd that they were just saying that they just sort of brought it off the way that they did so at that point I started trying to work out what to do how to fix it um, trying to google solutions you know what could I do to resolve this problem essentially one thing I did do was I asked a good friend of mine who I know also has a V3 mountain exhaust on his RS um, did he have any of these kind of issues and indeed whenever he had his installed which was installed by a dealer um, he had the tapping noise and he took it back and their solution was to rotate that exhaust tip around so that the exhaust valve motor was no longer as close to the underside of the car uh, which means that it wasn't any more tapping but it meant that the tips were out of alignment so I reluctantly thought okay well I'll give that a go so I did that and it stopped the tapping and everything was fine but I was somewhat displeased with how it looked essentially um, I didn't really want my tips to be not straight uh, so I kept looking for a solution and I actually had a quick look on the Mountain USA website and I found that they did a set of operated exhaust isolators made from stiff polyurethane Thing. Um, they look real cool, they're black, they've got the M for Mountain logo on them. Um, and yeah, but for whatever reason, they are not offered in Mountain UK. Uh, but I did find um, a supplier in the UK who was able to go and get them from Mountain USA and send them over to me. Um, so that is essentially what I thought I would try first as a proper solution. <laughs> um, and that is exactly then why I'm now making this video because like I said I wasn't planning on it I've already done it so I don't have any outside shots of the new isolators to show you um, but you know I, I've done it and long story short it was a resounding success um, whenever I put them in place the exhaust just sort of it, they just went right into the isolators at the exact right amount and then stopped as opposed to the stock ones where they were sort of a little bit loose in there and yeah then I unadjusted everything that I had done to the mountain exhaust before to try and make it look right and also to make it not tap and I no longer had the issue of the tips being out of alignment and straightening up that tip so that it now was no longer like this it was now 
straight up. Um, I went for a drive on that day, which was um, three days ago, and every day since I've been driving over the same bumpy roads, the same speed bumps, everything that I had been going over before, and no tapping so far. Um, so it just feels like a, such a resounding success that I felt that I had to make this video. Um, so, I mean, I can, I can show you some stuff under the car. I mean, I've got the old isolators right here. Very malleable, very easily squashed rubber. I mean, look at that, you just, yeah. Uh, whereas, even before, um, after I had driven around for maybe like a week, the tips were sort of not even centrally located in the diffuser, which was quite annoying as well. But again, with the new stiffer Mountain USA isolators, they are just bang on, you know, uh, without having to even think about any adjustment, which is pretty cool. So, I mean, if I just try and scooch under here, I mean, you can see there the motor. Um, so maybe you can see there that bit of blue. Well, you can see the nice new isolator from Mountain USA, but um, that bit of blue just beside the exhaust valve motor, there's even a little bit of paint that has chipped off because it, that was basically just banging off of it, um, but now it is not. And yeah, the, the new mountain isolators, they just look lovely as well, and they are definitely uh, stopping all that excess movement, and they are just holding the exhaust where it is meant to be. I am very, very happy with this solution, and I, I really just, I just wanted to share the solution with you guys. Let me know down in the comments down below, have you had an issue with your mountain exhaust, with tapping noises, um, you know, have you had any kind of fitment issues? Let me know in the comments down below, I'd love to know, and you know, I've already, you know, recommended this to my mate who has, who had the similar issue with his Mountain V3 exhaust and he's now seriously thinking about getting a set of these isolators because it just seems like a very simple solution, a solution that works very simply and doesn't require much time or effort to put in place. It just seems odd to me as well that Mountain UK don't offer it as a solution. They seem too proud or something to even admit that they made a bad design choice that requires a solution and therefore why would they offer a solution. But it's also a bit odd that Mountain USA, whose exhaust doesn't require a solution as far as I can tell, they offer a solution, it's a wee bit mixed up. Um, but anyway, I mean, I'll link down below in the description where I got the Mountain USA isolators from in the UK. Um, or you can just import them from America if you want to uh, do that directly. Um, but I basically I got them from JW Racing, um, really good service from those guys. Um, but uh, yeah. Just a weird one, just a, a, a bit of an, an annoying one because I love everything else about the exhaust. It sounds great, it you know performs great, everything, and you know it now with everything in proper alignment, it looks great from the outside. You know I'm very happy with it now. Um, it would just have been nice if Mountain UK didn't make the weird design choice with the exhaust valve motor. It would have been nice if they provided a solution, i.e. these isolators, which are clearly a good solution, and it would have been nice as well if they had, you know, not been a wee bit sort of, you know, you know, rude if you like, um, in that email to me. Um, so, I mean, I don't, I don't like slagging people off, certainly I don't like, you know, making videos that, you know, slagging people off, I'm not trying to do that as such. Um, I'm just really trying to, in this video, um, you know, tell you about my experiences, my genuine real life experiences with this thing, you know, I'm not trying to like sugarcoat anything, I'm just telling you how it is. So I made the review video and, you know, I, st I do stick by the review video because as far as performance and sound, I, I it is fantastic and I do love it still. But anyway, here we are, I've got a solution it seems so far so good anyway, and yeah. I hope you like that. I hope you like this little impromptu vlog type video. Um, please do like, share and subscribe. More content to come very, very soon. Thank you once again. Goodbye.